If you want to check out different content from myself, I've just set up a second channel where I'm going to post fitness and things. The link for that will be in the description. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tivium here, welcome back to another video and today, uh, hopefully, before we get the full database, I thought it'd be a good idea to go back through the top rated players that EA released and give you my honest opinions on them and what rating I really think they should have been given, some of which will be changed, some of which won't be and others will have kept the same rating such as Tony Kroos, however... I have changed his stats a little bit. As you can see, his passing has gone up. The card that I've given him is the one in the center, and the left is the one he was given by EA for FIFA 21. So a little bit of a change to Tony Kroos, but otherwise I think they've got it more or less correct. Handanovic is exactly the same. I've not changed him at all. I don't really know enough about Handanovic to, to warrant saying that he deserves to be worse or better. So I've left it alone. We're going to move on to Casemiro. I'm... I'm kind of happy with the 89, I won't lie to you. However, I think they should have given him an 88, but made him a little bit better. So I've given him just a little bit more in terms of pace. I've taken one off his physical, and I've downgraded him to an 88. I think that that was fair, really. Uh, Courtois kept him an 89. Again, I, I don't really think he's deserved an upgrade, but at the same time, I'm not going to begrudge him the 89. I think he had an 88, right, in FIFA 20. But um, it is what it is. Manuel Neuer deserved upgrade. Um, obviously plays for the European champions now as well as the league champions. Had a massive part to play. Played every game. So definitely deserves that upgrade. And I'm not going to begrudge him any stat whatsoever. We're going to keep him exactly the same as EA have given him. Moving on to Karim Benzema. I think Benzema's rating is justified again. They could have even gone one step further and given him a 90. Because he's so good and underrated as well. He's just one of those players that... People don't give him enough credit, right? So I've upped his physical, upped his pace slightly, given him one extra shooting and one extra passing, but remained an 89, which I think would have been fair. Ramos is a, a similar situation, so I've increased his pace by one, given him an extra two physical, because let's be honest, it's Ramos, and I've given him an extra one passing, but I've kept him an 89. And I think that some of the ratings that EA have dished out, if you compare Emre Chan to Fabinho, for example... It just It's a mismatch. It doesn't really make an awful lot of sense. Aguero is another one of those players that I think needs to remain the same rating but upgraded. And I've given him an extra four pace. And the reason I've done that is because Aguero is not as slow as Robert Lewandowski. It's just a fact. Aguero has a bit of pace to him. Okay, not as much as he used to have back in the day. But now he still has a little bit of zip. Moving on to Mbappe. I feel like a one upgrade here would have been... Uh, not a one upgrade, he has been upgraded, but one upgrade over the um, the rating that EA have given him. Mbappe is one of the most sought-after best players in the world. And yeah, okay, he's not up there with Ronaldo and Messi and, and maybe even Neymar to a, de to a degree. He is, but he isn't at the same time. I think a 91 would have been nice. It's obvious that he's going to get loads of special cards throughout FIFA 21, so I can kind of understand why EA gave him a 90. Alisson, I've kept exactly the same as what he was. Um, it would be easy for me as a Liverpool fan to sit here and say he deserves a 95 rated card, but at the same time, he did concede three against Leeds, so I'll, I'll be I'll be quiet about it and I'll just give him that 90 rated. I think that's uh, I think that's good enough. Uh, another Liverpool player now. In fact, we've got four in a row, and I'm not I'm not done it on purpose. This is just the way that EA did it, right? So Mo Salah 90 rated card again. I've not touched him. He's exactly the same as what EA gave him. And again, you know, Liverpool fans, you might want to uh, step up and say oh, he deserves 90 shooting. Did you see the goal against Leeds? I, yeah, no, I, I do. And I, I get that. But again, you do need room for improvement because of the amount of special cards Salah is likely to get. Mane, I'm happy now that he's on the same level as Salah. Deserved that 90 rated card. They are the same quality, in my opinion. If you just compare that one game, the opening game of the season... Yeah, Mane was a little bit more quiet and Salah was a little bit more lively and he looked better. But that's just one game. I'm really happy that Mane's been given that 90 rated card. I'm not going to keep the same rating for Van Dijk. Not because I put him on a pedestal and I think he's the best centre-back in the world. Because I'm not going to say that I, I think that because it wouldn't be true. However, I think as the best centre-back in FIFA in terms of the rating that EA have given him... I think it should have been better than 90. You know, like as the best defender in FIFA... They've given him a 90. I think he should have been given maybe a 91. 
And that goes for other players behind him as well. Other defenders should have been given higher rated cards. Not Liverpool players, just defenders in general. Uh, 90 rated to Stegen. I've kept him exactly the same. I was expected a downgrade this season, I won't lie to you, but we've got a 90 rated to Stegen, but it is what it is. I mean, Barcelona didn't have a very good season last year, so I'm kind of expecting a bit of a downgrade to most of their players. Didn't happen with Ter Stegen, so yeah. All Black, best goalkeeper in the world, uh, in my opinion, and therefore deserves that 92 rated card. You know, if you've got a really you know, like clear favourite of, of player like Messi, Ronaldo, they're always the highest rated cards in the game for their positions. But that doesn't mean if you give a 92 rated card to All Black, it means that he's better than Messi or Ronaldo or on the same level because he plays in a completely different position. Let's talk about Kevin De Bruyne, arguably the best cam in the world, and in my opinion, the best cam in the world. He is unparalleled. You cannot compare anyone to him at the, at the moment. He is that good when he's fit. So... Giving him a 92 rated card, I think, would have been justifiable. Uh, I, again, I understand why EA have done this. They've given some players lower rated cards, like De Bruyne 91, and, and we'll talk about Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, Lewin in a second, but they've done it so that they have enough room above them to give them upgrades. I get that. Uh, Neymar, in my opinion, should have remained a 92. He's been downgraded. Uh, again, okay, I know he's been sent off on the weekend, and I know that Many people will have that fresh in their memory and, and they'll think to themselves, well, he didn't play that much last season. He's been sent off. The, the downgrade is justifiable. But again, I think EA have only given him a downgrade just because they know how many special cards Neymar's likely to have this season. So they need a lot of room above. And I, I do get it. Lewandowski, um, there is an argument to be made that he could be a 92 rated card and I would not argue against it. But when it comes to this type of player, I think he's ha already had was it a two or a three upgrade see how he does for the first half of the season then in january if he's still doing what he's doing now upgrade him 92 93 whatever it may be let's go on to the big boys and we're going to talk about ronaldo first now they've given him a 92 i am not a ronaldo fanboy like i said i am a liverpool fan so you know he used to play for man united he's played for real madrid teams who have beaten liverpool in the past I'm not a fan of Ronaldo in that sense. Like, I I just, I appreciate the quality. Let's talk about Messi, because then we're going to compare the two. Messi has been given a 93, and I think they should be the same. I don't think Messi's better than Ronaldo, and I don't think Ronaldo's better than Messi. They both offer different things, and there you go. Now, when it comes to Messi, you'll notice that I've upgraded the pace, because butchering his legs as much as they have done is wrong. You could argue that he deserves to be a little bit quicker. I do think over a sort of straight race without a ball or even with a ball, I think Ronaldo would probably be quicker. So there's that. But I mean, you know, you could even say 88, 89 pace for Messi. But I think making them the same rating, just it just makes sense. I don't know whether there's any sort of licensing reason that they haven't done this, but I think that they should both be the same rating. And I'm one of those people who just appreciates the fact that I'm alive to witness them play at the same time. You know, you get a lot of older people will remember the likes of Maradona and Pele and they'll just say, look, I was grateful to be alive and watching them during their prime rather than having to sit there and watch videos of them. We are alive during the Messi-Ronaldo era. When these two both retire, which isn't too far away, when you look back down the list... Who have we got to take over? Neymar and Bappe? Yeah, they're good, but will they ever be as good as Messi and Ronaldo and as dominant in the, the leagues that they have been? I'm not convinced. So I'm just grateful to be alive during this time. And I think that they deserve the same rating card. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below about any of the ratings that you've seen today. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.